where should we start? Me, 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 me. This lady here, what was your question? Um, television set in front room keeps turning itself on and we have a shell on top and it used to just jump up off the, sh off the television. Yes. The shell did? Yeah. Yes. So why would that, what's your name, sorry? Linda. Linda, why would yes. that happen to Linda's television and the shell on top of the television? Well, because invariably, thanks, Becky, Linda, it's lovely to speak to you. Um, I've just inquired for you on your behalf, and invariably what has been happening, the spiritual and physical phenomena that is, has taken place, it has taken place, it's not ju just in your mind. My guide's saying it has, so he's confirming that. However, it's mainly due to what we call visitation, not alienated visitation, what we mean loving visitation meaning loved ones from the world of spirit, okay? I, I get a lady, please. I know for a fact who she is, because Sam's just said, it's this lovely lady, and I feel there could be a cherished thought, maybe many cherished thoughts in your heart for this lady, oh. but your mum's mum, your grandmother, please. Okay. And she says, oh, she loves me. She often <laughs> thinks about me, and I often, whenever you think about her, she comes zoom, right into your there. atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, she comes, it. and she's the one that's been fiddling about around the links with the television. <laughs> She's also is no that to get Linda's attention? Yes, that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. Not to alarm you or make you afraid. She loves you. She's your extension, your air extension, and will always be. That's what she's quoted, okay? She's also a lady police that believes. You're not eccentric, Linda, but you um you've got a little bit of air eccentric ways, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think uh, lovely, yeah, eccentric. I think it's lovely because it, it shows a personality right, that believes <laughs> and thinks for oneself, okay, and not yeah. going along with all the status quo and all that oh, stuff, yeah, okay? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So, Linda, it's your grandma who's visiting you and she wants you to know that she's around. Ah, just quickly, okay. grandma's Ooh. saying, why don't you join Greenpeace? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or any other such organisation. Right, lady here now, what's your name? Brenda. Brenda, you've got a question about your husband, is that yes. right? Yes. Yes, Derek. Um, yes. I lost my husband two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, he was very ill. I mean, we never discussed his illness. He wouldn't discuss it with me. He was a very Child private man. person, yes. yes. So he never said, really said goodbye. But not long after, I had this, what I thought was a dream, but it was a physically pushing, pushing, pushing me out of bed. Yes. And I could feel his presence. He was telling me to get up and he was pushing me out. Yes. And when I got downstairs, the first thing I noticed was an envelope on the floor, yes. which was very good news for me. Yes. So you wondered and if I'm it was your husband? If he was trying to yeah. tell me everything's going to be all right, because we never discussed yeah. his illness or anything oh. beforehand. I mean, it's lovely to speak to you. And just on your voice vibration, this is such a common common um, experience that has taken place all over the world, not just here. And was it a dream, though? No, it or wasn't, was it Becky. No. This, this is happening often, especially with one. Can I say this? You wouldn't mind if your husband was in the physical and he was playing about or trying to draw attention <laughs> to just give you a little push. Oh, right. Yeah. So what's the difference? Yeah. He's in a spirit body. He's still the same guy. OK. And he's come into your atmosphere, OK? And done... <laughs> Like this, you see, just to draw your attention. And to the I good news that was downstairs in yes. the envelope. Oh, that yes. Was what it was? yes, that's telling what me they, that everything was yes, going to be fine. That's what they do, honestly. That is one of the, the easiest things for them to do is when they come into the atmosphere, even more than speech or even getting a voice, is to move things, even touch and what have you, in a gentle way, and also then lead you, lead you to something that is going to be a benefit to you, never hindrance. And that's what love does. Oh. It's eternal. It's here, it's there, and it comes back like that. You see? Lovely. And that's love, that's eternal, will never... He's very well... He, he loves sport, did he, your husband? Sort of, not... OK, how about out. the boxing? No, no, Who was the boxing. man then? I've got another one here who used to love the boxing. So, I'm not saying he boxed, but he used to love viewing boxing. Think about this now. <laughs> yes. Have a think, Brenda, and we'll come back okay. to you. There's a lady over here dying to ask me something. What's your name? Phyllis. Okay. Phyllis. Hey, what's Phyllis. your question, Hello. Phyllis? Um, I lost my dad last year and my partner's mum close together. Do they visit and are they well? And are yeah. they together? And are, well, yeah, I don't know if they've been together. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> not in that way, Phyllis. Yeah. It's no, just you're me, not you know. well, Yes, They're it's not lovely related. to speak to you, Phyllis. Thank you, Becky. Now, I've just, Sam's just said to me, um, both of these l lovely souls are not spending what we call um, a great deal of time in each other's company or out atmosphere they're not love okay yeah. um, I feel it could be because and I say it with respect to both their memories and who they still are but I feel um, I'm not saying that you, your, your partner would have ducked and weaved from or, or what have you but I'll just say this to you uh, it's like they meet they've seen 
and it's like, hello, um, <laughs> I'm going about my business. Oh, she's not surprised at that, are you? Well, no, it was my partner's mum that we lost. Yes, OK. Right, yeah. Well, can I just say, that's the way it's yeah, going on. Yeah, because they weren't close No, I, I, I see. <laughs> if they were, <laughs> like, you. bosom buddies, even mm. in the world of spirits, they go everywhere with each other and they would do things, you know, commonly together. But I don't get that. Sam says, hello, it's polite and this, yeah. you know, <laughs> and it's... Mm, and on they go, you see. Yeah. And they're not going to change the personalities overnight, OK? No. Now, can I... Yes, I will, please. Thank you. Who's Tommy? Tom? Living. Not in spirit. Living. Can't Thomas. Can't. I've got a nephew. Yes. OK. <laughs> it's so difficult when people do that, you know, <laughs> because they want to talk about him. What age would he be now at the moment, please? Um, 11. He's 11. Can I say this to you, and you can pass a message on to the parents of Thomas, OK? That the, the consensus of idea from the world of spirits, as they're looking in, OK, is saying here, by the time he gets into his 15th, 16th year, he will major, he will excel in something quite special with this boy, OK? Mm. At the moment, he thinks he... Oh, do they? Um, they think he's a real lazy bones, OK? And he's not doing. He's not, oh, he just couldn't care less. He's a real free spirit, as our Thomas. That's right. But <laughs> he's having special tutoring because they found out there is dyslexia. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, let me tell you, he has got potential, and the spirit world is saying, "Oh yes, oh, oh yes, come news. on, Thomas, <laughs> let's go and show them." Okay. And that's what's going to happen. And I will tell you, in time, before his twenty-first birthday of years, okay, in this physical life, he is going to make people sit up and say, well, would you have believed this? All those years back there, diagnosed with the dyslexia and what have you, and he's got a brain, this boy, okay? And so, I heard a woman's voice say, one day, he'll be the head of an organisation. Remember that oh, today, okay? Oh, Phyllis, you've got they good can see news. Ahead, okay? Good news to take back to you. Have we got time yes. for one more? Have we got time for one? Sorry for very, shouting, right, very, very quickly, answer. what's your very quick question? My question was, my dad died just as I found out I was pregnant, yes. I wanted to know if he'd ever come back to see the baby. Does yes. he know? No, oh, bless you. What's your first name again? Dina. Hey, Dina. Um, were your lovely babies concerned? Was this a baby boy? Yeah. Because I've got a man here who said, I saw my grandson. Oh. I saw my baby grandson. So, okay. Yes, I will. Always got love, has he? Well, often it's said about little girls, but you can say it about a little boy. Hasn't he got most startling eyes, Dina? He has. Just it's like such his a mom, picture, isn't it? <laughs> and I also was always oh, born with a full mop, was he? He was. Yes. <laughs> Dad's been watching. And can I just say this to you, please? He's a chunky lad, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. And he said, "Oh, he's strong." Okay. So he obviously knows. There you go, Dean. He obviously he's, knows he's all watching. about him. He's, he's 